hello to you all again. This is going to be part two of the 3D text. Uh, in the first part we just made the metal face text, which we have here. I've actually had to make another one because I think I deleted the old file, but it's cool. It's fine, it's the same thing. Um, just play through that quickly. And if you don't know how to do this, you'll have to watch part one. Okay, what we're going to do now is render this to a new track. So we go Tools, Render to New Track, and we'll choose, this is just the easiest way to get a track with an alpha channel. So we go to the video for Windows, ABI, and the default that should come up will be uncompressed. We'll go into Custom just to check and make sure that box is ticked render alpha channel. Okay, uh, we might change to use our project settings and no audio, great. Okay, save to the desktop, doesn't really matter where, anywhere. It should render through pretty quick. Now, you might notice here that we don't have an alpha channel and I'll just briefly mention this because it held me up and I struggled with it for a long time before I found what was going on. All you have to do in Vegas it automatically comes in with no alpha channel. So if you right click on the clip and you go to properties, media, alpha channel it automatically says none, make it straight unmatted and there we have an alpha channel. Okay, so now we have our front face of our text. It's all good to go. Now we can begin to do the 3D part. So we can delete this track, delete one of our text tracks, change the compositing mode back to 3D source alpha and we'll also make, at the same time, the metal face track, 3D source alpha, and then we'll mute our new track. So we're left with, as we were at the start, our plain text in the white. Okay, now what we might do, we'll just go back in there, go to effects, and we don't really need our outline anymore. Ah, okay. Now, what we want to do is we have to duplicate this track oh so many times. Okay, what you want is about 30 times, which will take ages. So I'll just show you how to do it and then we'll do a bit of time lapse and we'll come back when it's done. So what you then do after you've got all of your tracks is you go in to your track motion and you're going to change each one its Z position you're going to change it by one <laughs> and you go down to the next one two and the next one three and the next one and so on, all the way down, then you will end up with 30 different Z positions. Okay, we'll come back after we've done that. Okay, that's all done. We have 30 tracks. <laughs> and that took ages. As I said in the first tutorial, this is heaps easier in 3D Max or After Effects. But as I said then, if this is all you have and you want to do it in Vegas as a challenge maybe <laughs> then this is how to do it anyway so you've got all of your tracks and as you can see the text has gotten quite deep but it doesn't look that good yet it just kind of looks like a blown out donut or something but we'll be going to change that now the next thing we want to do is edit select all and we want to parent them all which if you press on one of these little arrows here to the first track 
Now what this means is, if we change our compositing mode on the first track to 3D Alpha, now if we go into this, oh, and we unmute that, and we go in to the parent motion of our top track, and this is where it starts to get cool. And we can move all of those layers together. Now, as you can see, that's what we're getting now. And this is the beginning of our 3D text. Now, if you have an older computer, it will struggle with this. So you can do a few things. Of course, up here you can change uh, to preview auto maybe so it won't look as good while you're looking at it now but when you render it out it will be fine it will look really good still uh, but it just makes it a little bit easier for your PC to process it now you can actually see there what we've actually done if you get it right there you can see all of our different layers that's not an issue though because most of the time whenever you do this once you turn it off to the edge you're not going to see that okay let's just right click and restore the box so we get back to the start now there's a couple of other things we probably should do okay if you want to get more of the edges to show up in the 3d part of the text like around here see how it all looks really I know, just really pale and white. You can apply effects to your depth text by going up to it in the project media. Right click, go down to FX, and let's say if we add a, a bump map. Now that applies to every layer automatically. You don't have to go through and apply that effect individually. You can just do it across the board. You know, if you play, um, let's see, normally the bump works pretty well straight out of the box. So now if you have a look at that, you have more edges in here. The downside of adding the bump map is it gives you more of the definition, but it also shows up our layers more. So you'll just have to play with that yourself to get a happy medium. Okay, now before you render it out, you want to apply a bit of movement. Now this can be as intricate or as basic as you want it to be. Before now, we'll just have a quick look at just like a zoom past the front of it. So we've got our starting keyframe here, and I've angled it around. So all we do if we go for our five seconds, Maybe one back. Okay. There's our ending frame, as you can see here. Now, if we rotate it, around to the other side, like we've done a bit of a flyby, and we'll change the location of it a little bit. Just a little bit more. That's probably a bit too much. We can begin to see our layers there, which we don't want. And if you give it a quick preview, build dynamic RAM preview. There we go. And there we have it. 3D text in Sony Vegas. Anyway, I hope this has opened up a few opportunities for you. Um, thanks for watching. If there's anything that you'd like to know, I can probably do another tutorial. Anyway, hit me back if you would like anything else done that you don't know how to do. See you later.